Hello everyone, myself Shivam and today in this video we are going to see the problem of the day. So the problem name is, is linkage length even? So first we will go through the problem statement, then we will see some of the test cases and then we will write code together. So the problem is stating that given a linked list, your task is to complete the function is length even which contains the head of the linked list and check whether the length of the linked list is even or not. Return true if it is even, otherwise false. So the problem statement is very simple. Actually, we need to find out the length of the linked list. And if the length of the linked list is even, we need to return true. Otherwise, we need to return false. Let's go through the test cases we have. So the first test case is 1252, 10, 47, 95, and 0, right? If you see the length of this linked list, the length of the linked list is 6, right? So since the length of the linked list is 6, so the output is true, right? Because it is even. Now, if you see the second test case, we have 9, 4, and 3. So here, the length of the linked list is 3. And so the output is false. I hope the problem statement is very simple. So I hope you are able to understand this properly. Now, without wasting time, let's see the approach to solve this problem. So I'm going to follow a very basic and simple approach, right? You can have your own approach as well. But the simplest approach is that we are going to have a count variable and we are going to traverse each node of the linked list till we get null, right? And we need to increment our count variable every time we visit a node. Now, after that, when we are done with the whole linked list, it means we have traversed the whole linked list. Then we need to check what is the value of count. If the value of count is uh, even, then we need to return true. If the value of count is odd, then we need to return false. I hope you understood the problem statement and the approach as well. Now, let's see one example so that we can understand this better. If you see, we are going to start from node 5. So at that time, our count was 0, right? So when we visited node 5, we need to make sure that we are incrementing count by 1, right? So we will increment count by 1 and my count value will be 1, right? Now. Similarly, we will go ahead and we will check for the other nodes as well. So on node 10, our count will be 2, right? On node 25, count will become 3. On node 9, our count will be 4. And on node 1, our count will be 5. Similarly, we need to do it for each and every node. And every time we are visiting any node, we need to increment our count by 1. Now, since we got null here, as you can see, so we should stop here and we should not proceed ahead, right? Now, after coming out, after traversing the whole linked list, we should check what is the value of our count. So the value of count is six, which is even. So we will return true, right? So the approach is very simple. Let's go through the code and let's try to write code together. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to write code in Python, right? You can use any language because the logic will remain same, right? Now I'm going to have a count variable as we have decided initially our count is zero, right? Now we are going to traverse in the linked list uh, using while loop. You can use any loop according to your wish. So I'm using while loop while head is not null. As I said in Python, we have none, not null. So till we don't get none, we will keep traversing. And every time we enter into while loop, we will increment count variable by one, right? Now we will increment count variable by one and we will say that now let's move to the next node. How do we move to the next node? Using head is equal to head dot next, right? So that's it. And if you come out from the while loop, it means you have the length of your linked list in your count variable, right? It means we have counted all the nodes we have in the linked list. Now we need to see what is the value of count. If the count value is even, then we need to return true. If the count value is odd, we need to return false, right? So I will be directly writing like this. If count modulo 2 is equal to is equal to 0, right? So that is what I'm going to return. I hope you know what modulo operator does. It returns the remainder, right? So let's say our count value is 6. Then 6 modulo 2, it will have 0 remainder, right? So if 0 is equal to is equal to 0, it means the condition is true. So we will be returning true directly. And if the condition is false, then we will be returning false. So it will be totally based on the condition, right? So that's it. This is going to be the whole code. Let's 
compile and let's see if the code is working fine. Uh, my bad. I have written count plus plus. Actually, in Python, it is not allowed. So we need to write count plus one and let's see. Let's now compile our code and let's see if the code is working. So the code is working fine. Let's submit and let's see if all the test cases are getting passed. So all the test cases are also getting passed. So I hope you understood the uh, code as well. Now let's talk about the time and space complexity. So as you can see, we are just traversing in the whole link list, right? So since the traversal, every time we are traversing, we are just incrementing count by one. So it will not take any time complexity, right? So just traversal will take some time. So since uh, there can be n node in the linked list, so the time complexity is going to be bigger of n. And what about the space complexity? Since we are not using any other data structure or any space other than a count variable, which is going to take the uh, constant space, obviously. So the space complexity is also bigger of one. So I hope you understood the problem and the solution that we have discussed. Thank you for watching the video.